Another day, another cooking stream. I don't know how many of you guys remember the very first one we did. It's about time we got another one. <laughs> Hopefully all will go well and I don't <laughs> burn the house down this time. I didn't burn the house down last time either, but we're going to be baking some cookies today. Not any old plain regular cookies. These are going to be Genshin Impact themed cookies. We do also have a Sayu specialty dish. Should be plain and simple, should be pretty straightforward, should be very easy. I hope, at the very least. Disclaimer, this is my very, very first time ever trying to cook any of these recipes. You guys in chat will have to help me out as well as, you know, just just be patient, all right? Let's let's be let's let's have a little patience. I do also want to mention that all of these recipes did originally come from none other than Mori Kitchen, wonderful YouTube channel uh who specializes in recreating genshin impact dishes and while these aren't like exactly the same recipes they did start from mori kitchen so you know be sure to check mori kitchen out and huge shout out for making all of these wonderful videos without further ado i think it is about time we got started well, I'm gonna wash my hands again even though I already did because you guys are screaming at me in chat thank you First step is to take 210 grams of butter and add 420 grams of cake flour and mix well together. So to do that, we need our specialty mixing bowl right here. How much is 210 grams of butter, guys? What is the conversion for cups to uh, grams? Anyone, <laughs> anyone know? <laughs> you have a kitchen scale. I have uh, this right here. All right, you know what? We'll be using this today. Oh, 113. Actually, that is pretty much exact. I need 210. Uh, it'll be fun if I use like 220, right? There's no difference really. Okay, 226 grams of butter, that should be fine. What do you mean it's not okay? <laughs> baking is precise? I think baking is an art about suggestions. These recipes, they aren't directions, they are simply suggestions for you. All about how you take these recipes and how you interpret it yourself. Oh my God, okay, I will remove 10 grams. Okay, 211 grams. Oh shoot, I dropped heart. butter on my microphone. Where do I even put this? Where, what, what am I supposed to do with this extra 10 grams of butter? <laughs> you guys are disgusting. So I got some cake flour here. How do I open this? All right. Oh, don't fall. 46, 78, 72, 81, 99. Oh shoot, 423. Okay, it's fine. This is what we're gonna be doing with it. I'm gonna be mixing it. You think this is too much flour? It seems like a lot of flour. Did I just use my hands? Okay, watch this. All right, how's that looking? Can I add the other That's stuff yet? <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm adding. I'm adding other stuff. I don't. I don't care. When you add eggs, it'll look a lot more like cookie dough. I hope so. So you're supposed to add egg yolks, right? It's not supposed to be. Is this supposed to be the whole egg? Depends on the recipe. Mm, I'm gonna add two whole eggs. I should whisk them. All right, here, here are the eggs. Just eyeball everything, and if it turns out bad, blame it on chat. I like that idea. All right, that's whisked enough. Bring out the big guns. Here we go. I got the. Uh, I think we add the eggs slowly. Oh my god, please don't fly out everywhere. I'm so scared that the flower is just gonna... Oh wait, actually we're fine. Is this what it's supposed to be looking like at this stage? Why does something look wrong? Alright, I'm gonna need it more. Oh god, I'm sorry keyboard. We are now going to sift in a hundred and fifty grams of powdered sugar. This is an extremely small sifter. I feel like this is not how you're supposed to do it. Now we just knead it. So it looks like dough. What does dough look like? 
bonus egg. All right, I'll just add a little water. How much is a little? And we add in the cocoa powder. Yeah, that should be good enough. <laughs> the color's not soaking in. And we are begging you to stop. No, the show must go on. We are far too deep. There you go. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. I think the problem with this batch is I probably need to add a little more flour in. All right, how much, how much flour do you guys think? It'll be fine. If it's too much, I'll just add more water again. And then I can just add more flour again. And then I can just add more water. And then more flour. Mr. Strimmer, why do you have measuring scale when you're not measuring? I measured and that didn't work. So now we are going by instinct. Now we take the plastic wrap. Grab your dough. Boom. I guess we just wrap it, right? <laughs> oh my God. All right, this is, this is what the dough is looking like. Here, I'll put it up to the main camera. We set this in the refrigerator to go for 30 minutes. Okay. While the dough is resting, what we need to do is move on to our next recipe. And this is going to be the Sayu specialty. So to start this, we have, we have rice. We have purple rice and we have uh, some rice that I cooked with a little bit of soy sauce and mirin. I'll see this. Let me put some plastic wrap on the table and we have to recreate this shape right here. Rice. All right, we have a circle. All right, we gotta make it like pointy and stuff. How do we do that? You're watching an expert at work. All right, this is, this is what our outline's looking like. We will now add in the purple rice. Oh God, this purple rice is really, really wet. Ooh. I don't think it's gonna hold together when I pick it up because this purple rice is just, it's too damp. Let's and add in some stuff. So here we have some salmon put in, I guess, in the middle. Beautiful. Layer number two going on top of it. Oh, Jesus. I'm calling, I'm calling this good. I'm calling this good. What happened to the ears? Ah, oh, just wait a second. Just wait a second. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Wrapping. Look at this. Here. <laughs> this is, okay, this is, this is what it looks like on this side. And then we unwrap it on here. Please hold together. Please hold together. Yes. 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 Let's go. Let's go. You need to add ears. Let's go with one scoop right here. Let's transfer this onto a plate now. Please hold together. I'm gonna be so sad if this just falls apart right now. The ears. Okay. <laughs> How do I get this off the plastic wrap and onto the plate, guys? All right, I think I know what we have to do. Okay, I just need to hold it in my entire hand. Okay, goodbye ears, goodbye ears. It was nice knowing you. Then. Okay, this is still salvageable. Here's what it's looking like, here's what it's looking like. Okay, okay, you guys see it, you guys see it. So you guys see the uh, the little nose and the mouth and whatnot. Here's what we have to do. We're gonna, we're gonna use seaweed for that, okay? We're gonna use seaweed for that, so. Here's our seaweed. PSJ on the front, actually, yeah, whatever. Yeah, bought it specifically because he's on the cover. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, and then we're gonna cut the seaweed. It's two sheets. Take our cutting knife. I am also probably supposed to use this to cut. Oh my God, this is like surgery, dude. And I have shaky hands. Brand reveal. so beautiful though. I don't want to take a bite out of it. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Tastes just like rice and salmon. This is incredible. Wow. Here is our freshly rested dough after uh, 30 minutes in the fridge. I think now we have to uh, roll the dough out to one fourth inch thick on a baking sheet. There we go. There we go. 
baking sheet. So take our freshly cold dough now and just press this out and grab our rolling pin. Let's roll this out. One fourth inch thick? How thick is a fourth inch? Yeah, this is this is fine, right? This is like a fourth inch thick. All right, and now we just need to cut out shapes. So I wanna I wanna make hilly churls first and foremost. So that, and then like that, that. Okay, yes, this is <laughs> this is my hilly churl shape. Here we go, hilly hilly churl hilly churl shape. All right, I'm gonna try to make Paimon right now. Watch and learn. All right, this one's a slime. This one's this one's a slime. We're making a slime. Okay, this is this is a slime. This is this is a slime. This goba. How do I make goba? Come out, goba. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This is <laughs> this is this is your goba. This is this is your goba. Please jumpty dumpty. What is it called? Um, dodo bird? Oh, dodo co. It kind of stuck. Okay, dodo co had a little mishap. Oh uh, yeah, okay, this is, this is, <laughs> this is dodo co. We can re-roll the dough and then we can, uh, we can do it once again. Later. Can you recognize what these are? tell what is what because I can't but it's fine all right I'm putting them in the freezer now for an hour oh oh wait what is this god dang it we could make ears with this let me just boom 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 eyeball boom that's a nose boom that's a mouth okay beautiful going back in the freezer now we just wait for them to harden in the fridge and we will be back again in one hour right one hour later all right let me clean everything up and get the cookies they're supposed to be like rock solid right all right here we go <laughs> this is our genshin themed cookies let's just toss them into the uh, into the oven Space them out, they are as spaced out as can be. All right, and now we just need to wait 12 minutes. So what we need to do right now is let us grab the frosting. Of course, we need to uh, decorate them with frosting, so. All right, so for frosting, we need 40 grams of icing sugar. And to this, we add Six grams of water. How much is six grams of water? Six grams of water, like this. Oh, seven grams, okay. We'll call it good, we'll call it good. Right there. And then we whisk. Is this what icing is supposed to look like? I give up. This is, this is good enough. This is, this is icing. All right, this is what our icing looks like. It tastes like it's like sugar. <laughs> it tastes like sugar. <laughs> How much? Uh, drop or maybe two drops. Oh, look at that. Let's go get the cookies. I think we are pretty much done. Oh my God, why do they look? Exact same color as when they went in, dude. One minute later. Here are the cookies. Let's go. They need to cool down before we put on the uh, icing. Are the bottom of the cookies okay? Oh, would you look at that? Perfectly browned at the bottom. All right, I'm gonna try one that doesn't need frosting. I'm gonna try the resin. All right, here it goes. Kind of dry. All right, screw it. We're adding frosting. Slime, red slime. Hilly churl. Yeah. Goba. Eyes. Um, 
Promo job. Boom, beautiful. Next, regular kind of brown icing. Ghost is already white, but we'll add icing on it anyway. Hey, there we go. Final result. <laughs> and then, let's go. I'm gonna eat Hu Tao's ghost. All right, taste test. Icing plus cookie, here we go. All right, I do need to clean up now. <laughs> if you are watching this on YouTube, thank you for sticking around. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me cook Sayu's specialty meal and these Genshin Impact themed cookies. Oh my God, why does it look like they're crying blood? If you wanna join us on Twitch, it's twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen. Catch these types of events live and you know, always consider subscribing, leaving a like on the video. It's always free. You can always change your mind as well. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. <laughs> yes. You know, even if it wasn't the prettiest, even if it wasn't the most amazing culinary skills you've ever seen, I think we had fun. Uh, it was a learning process and being able to do that with you guys. I hope it was somewhat enjoyable. So thank you guys for watching me as always.